Hey what's up guys so Galaxy Watch 5 Pro has recently gotten Wear OS 4 and One UI 5 update so if we go in settings and go in about watch and go in software information here you can see that we now have One UI version 5 and Wear OS version 4 on Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. The first thing that I want to talk about is the new layout for adding watch faces and tiles on this watch. So if you long press on the watch face and select add new watch face you will now see that the layout is now vertical and it's all categorized now so we have the graphical watch faces health watch faces classic watch faces so they have all been categorized and the layout is vertical now so it's much easier to add your watch faces same goes for tiles so if you long press on the tile and scroll all the way to add new tile you will see this vertical layout and it's all categorized now so we have our clock tiles then connected devices then contacts so the tiles related to one app just like on your phone are in one place in one card so this layout makes it much easier to find and add tiles to the watch there's also a new battery widget that they have added to galaxy watch 5 pro and i really like this widget on galaxy watch 6 classic so i'm really happy that it has made its way here so if you long press on a tile and go on to add a new tile you will find this battery widget in connected devices section so this is the first one here tap on it and then you can see that this battery widget shows you the battery of your watch as well as your phone and there's a little icon here as well that shows you that your phone is currently charging and there are two more places here so for example if you have your buds connected to the watch the battery for them will also show up here next up if your galaxy buds are connected to your watch and they support 360 degree audio you can then turn on or off that 360 degree audio from the galaxy birds widget on your watch so that ability has also been added to this galaxy watch 5 pro another new tile that they have added here is the timer tile so if you go in the tile section you will find this timer tile widget here so tap on it and you can now see that we have three different types of timers here you can long press on it and edit it as well so you can remove this and you can add the timer of your choice here as well so there you go and then from this style you can quickly launch these timers if you go into the gallery on galaxy watch 5 pro that gallery has also been updated because now you can see your pictures in albums as well as in story mode as well with this new wear os 4 update samsung has also added sleep coaching to galaxy watch 5 pro so if you wear this watch to sleep this watch can coach you to sleep better so if we go in samsung health here and go in sleep you can get sleep coaching so go in final analysis right now because my sleep coaching is complete here and now it opens up on the samsung health app on your phone and if you go in final analysis it will show you how your sleep has improved and all that stuff and then you can go through it and everything but then you can start the sleep coaching again go through it answer these questions and then press done and it will take the survey from you and then it will give you these tips to improve your sleep and those tips will appear on your watch galaxy watch 5 pro can now also auto detect your cycling activities if you forget to start tracking your activity so simply go in samsung health go in settings and go to the section of auto detect workouts and in here you will see this new option called cycling you can turn this on and then your watch will be looking out for you if you're cycling and it will start to auto detect and auto record it you can go in here and then you can also set up record location so your watch will also give you a map of your entire cycling route active heart rate zones have also arrived on galaxy watch 5 pro which is great news for runners because now you can see which heart rate zone you are in actively while you're running so if you go in samsung health and start a workout go in settings and here you can turn on heart rate zone guide you can go in here and you can select your target zone for your heart rate and you can also set up a custom zone and then when you start to run it will give you your active heart rate zone down here and when you go in a particular zone it will alert you that now you are in the zone that you set your target as 
Next up, if you start running on a regular 400 meter track, your watch can recognize which lane you are running in to give you more accurate results for laps and distances. And you can see the lap section right here on the tracking display. And you can long press it to change it to other metrics as well. But if you keep it at lap distance, your watch will give you more accurate data. You can now also create your custom workouts in Samsung Health and track them. So go in Samsung Health. Go in workout and scroll all the way to the left. So tap on add and here you can actually create new exercise for yourself. So simply go in here, rename it and then you can turn on distance, speed and route with GPS for it and save it. And then next time you can just start tracking this activity for yourself. With the new software update, there is also a new way to back up your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. And now this backup happens via the Smart Switch app. And for that, go into the Galaxy Wearable app, go in Watch Settings, and then go in Accounts and Backup. In here, you can see your last backup by going in this section here, and it will take a while to bring up all your backups. And here you can see your last backup from the watches. So here you can see I've got quite a few here. Now these backups are done on your phone. So if you delete the Smart Switch app, these backups will also be deleted unless you turn on the backup to Samsung Cloud option here. So if you do that, your backups will then be done on the Samsung Cloud and you can restore them on your next watch. You can now also transfer your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro to a different phone without resetting it and then restoring the backup that you did on the previous phone. So all that hassle is gone. Just simply use this feature here in the settings and then go in general and scroll all the way down to this option, transfer watch to new phone. Here it will tell you what are the conditions for this. So the Google account on the watch and the new phone must match. And if you're signed into a Samsung account on the new phone, that account will be used on the watch as well. But your Google account has to be the same if you want to connect your watch to the new phone and once you do that simply select yes it will look out for the new phone and then you can connect it seamlessly it works very well we also now have new call controls if you go into the dialer app on your phone so in here during the calls you can now also adjust call volume you can mute the sound and you can press the keypad during the call as well which is fantastic another really cool update that has landed on galaxy watch 5 pro with this one ui 5 update is related to the camera so if you have z flip 5 or z fold 5 and you are using the camera in the flip mode you will get this icon at the bottom of the watch face and you can tap on it to turn on the camera controller on your watch and it all happens automatically and then you can just start taking photos through your watch now this feature also works in the tent mode so if you turn on the camera and move your phone into the tent mode you will get this button again and you can tap on it to load the preview and control your camera from your watch another really cool feature that this one ui 5 update has brought to galaxy watch 5 pro is that when you are using Samsung keyboard to type something, you can simply press and hold the home button and then voice type the whole message. So let's try it out. Hey, what's going on? This is a Samsung Galaxy Watch test. This feature is fantastic. So there you go, it works really well and you can pause it and start it again and this way you can dictate the whole message by just pressing and holding the home button. It's a fantastic new feature. You can now also initiate multiple timers, actually up to 20 timers at once on Galaxy Watch 5 Pro with this new update. So go into the timer app, start a timer, scroll to the left and then select a new timer, start that one and now your timers are available. You can then go again and select another timer and start that one. And now all your timers you can see if you scroll to the left, which is a fantastic new feature. If you have set up your medical information on Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and you have to initiate the emergency SOS or your watch detects a hard fall feature, there will appear a button on your watch, which when tapped will show your medical information to the first aiders. So you can set this up by going in settings, then go in safety and emergency, 
and here the top tab that you will see here is medical info here you can add all the details about your medical information and you can do it on your phone there is an entirely new feature here called battery and device care that we first saw on galaxy watch 6 now we have it on galaxy watch 5 pro as well so here you get your battery and device care just like you get on your samsung phones so we have our battery here storage information here and memory here as well so if you go in your memory you can see which apps are using your ram and you can clean up the memory by just tapping this button then you can go back and you can go in storage and here you can see how much storage is being used by what data and it's computing it right now and then there is this battery option and if you go in here you can see your battery you can turn on power saving you can see your sleeping apps and you can turn on the watch only mode if you go in battery section it will show you which apps are using the most battery on your watch if you go into the app drawer you can now create folders in the app drawer as well so simply press and hold on one app drag it onto the other and drop it and this will create a folder you can tap on the top here to rename the folder you can change the color of the folder as well and then you can tap on this plus button to add more apps in this folder as well so there you go and then you have a new folder in your app drawer this is a very nice way to declutter the app drawer on your galaxy watch and just to let you know if you delete a folder this will not delete the apps from your watch it will just delete the folder and your apps will just be repositioned to the bottom of the app drawer and finally the last thing is that if you set up a pin or pattern to protect your galaxy watch what will happen is that not only your watch will lock when you take it off your wrist but when you reset your watch and try to connect it to the new phone you will first have to enter that pin or password or pattern whatever it is to set up the watch with the new phone so that's about it from this video guys those were the 20 new features that one ui 5 and wear os 4 update has added to galaxy watch 5 pro and that's about it from this video i will see you in the next one till then take care Bye bye